But besides this octagon that is giving these criminals with caffeine, that is a cartagon re reinforced. You put a pill, and then he goes out to kill. He doesn't have any scruples because it's an accelerator. And almost 90% of the captured people, the blood exam showed octagon all today. They were found many uh, much dollars to buy octagon, and they pay with drugs, and they pay with money. Then afterwards, the criminals arrived. The criminals arrived here, and they began hitting with the, with the tube to the wall to, to knock it down. And then the people's power, when the boys saw the criminals, they stopped, and they told the women, the woman that was very angry, and they were they put fire to water fires. And when they saw that they were firing, they were setting fires to the river to the rubbers. One of them knocked down the wall, and then he failed, and he was very hard hit. The criminals brought the the, the subject, and they, they they brought him here to attend, and they sent him to the clinic. They they actually they healed him, and they took him to the clinic. So they accommodated him. Even 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 we we helped them here. That's life. You realize that we were victim of an attack of a fascist attack, criminal attack. What would happen if these people set Venezuela on fire for a week? What would have happened? What would have happened if they have salted the power and they take Miraflores? What would they have done with the power? These people are prepared. Are these people prepared to govern this country in peace? Are they are fascists. And in Venezuela, we are waging a battle our, of our homeland on the world. That we are waging a struggle for Venezuela and for humanity. The triumph of Venezuela is actually the triumph of democracy, of peace, and humanity in humanity, the whole world, not only Venezuela. We are here defeating fascism because fascism is defined, the imperialism defined Venezuela as the crown jewel. And Venezuela, and they were coming after the crown jewel, Elon Musk, Goliath, but they didn't expect, Goliath didn't expect that David was here, and David triumphed here, which is the people blessed by God. Admiral, we wish you a, re a good recovery. What is the Chicomini? What's the health? Well, my commander, we are deployed here. The guard has not lowered. We continue with that work, with this hard work in all the CDEs, in all the popular clinics, in, in all the health centers, because we are we're not going to lower our guard until we fulfill your instruction 100% of the central health center recover with the priority that you gave in the health center, in education, in the services. But I would like my com my commander to reflect, to think. We saw the phases of fascism. We saw the face of fascism in the communities. This coup, we, it was a coup, a coup d'etat against all. They are actually sickening our people through the mobile phones, the war for the mobile with messages, how messages were arriving to the families and to all leaders on the, with these threats that they, what they wanted was death, they wanted blood. These are a fascist, delinquent criminals, mercenaries paid to come here to create terror in our homeland. But here, our people came out with a lot of conscience, our institutions worked, our, the operation Tontun Nag Nag was working. And in, in less than 48 hours, it was controlled. Everything was controlled in our Venezuela, beloved Venezuela, in all the spaces. So it's a war. It's a, co a cognitive war. It's a war to affect the minds of all of, us, of all of us. But they wanted to destroy us, ourselves, together. Imagine in the supposed case that they would have consolidated anything. We wouldn't be here at this moment here. This is a reflection that we will have to 
take because they don't they want blood they want death what they want is destruction who wins with destruction nobody wins with, with destruction so then we have this commitment that what they destroy we're going to recover it as you said immediately and we will continue with this work with this hard work in our communities protecting our people supplying them with the services providing them with health care and also the education and continue we are now in august a holidays month with this vacation plan community plan in the recovery of the spaces for our people and to have the happiness that we are in august in a month of holidays well they are damaging through all ways through all means criminal sanctions direct damages direct or indirect we didn't we, we, we didn't remain with our arm crossed. We created the Ecomillion, the one by 10, and with by one by 10, we went directly a surgery, a surgery action to recover all those places, schools, CDI, universities, etc. With the but one by 10, they couldn't, and with the Brick Committee Salud and education. And then, since now these are, things are now re recovered, the second action was uh, to go to burn them down because they had a plan. Not only there's a concept that the lawyers are handling judicially, this criminal is convicted and confessed, they say. Sometimes it's only convicted, but not confessed. Convicted is that you have elements, evidence to convict. In this time, we have a lot of evidence because it was recorded and it was broadcast live on TikTok. TikTok banned my account yesterday, and before yesterday because he, they said that I was broadcasting a scene with violence scene and the, through which media they broadcast the violence. It was not through TikTok, it was live. I took my phone and I went into my account, TikTok account, when all the, all the other accounts, you know, when they send their messages, out of 10 accounts, eight were live and direct and I was looking at it I was telling you, look, you have to go to the street, number street. You know, this, they're trying to burn down that. Please go there, alert the popular powers. The police should go there. TikTok was broadcasting live. All the, we all, all the evidence, all the evidence that we have were provided by TikTok, the criminals, because, because they were trained, they were told to transmit, to broadcast all the violence actions live and direct. So to generate terror in the country so that the, the people inhibited themselves and to go out uh, to defend their, their things. But these people were not afraid and they went out in the community to defend the CDE. I congratulate them for defending the CDE. So they are actually making damage with the sanctions and when we recover, they come here to burn what we recovered. Is this a protest to burn a school? How many schools did they burn, which we are already recovering them? Universities, Dr. Gabriela, 116 schools and universities, 11 universities burned. It's an incredible thing. For example, the university, the Central University of Venezuela that we recovered and leave it, left it brand new is now at the level when it was inaugurated when Marcos you can see there and you can enjoy that because it's a, like a tourist tour. We recovered the whole university. They came here and burned a part of it of what we have already recovered. Is that called protest? Why did they want to knock down the statue of Bolivar of Jose Gregorio? Why did they knock down the statue of the, of the chief Coromoto? You know who the, the chief Coromoto is? Some people don't know the Indian Koromoto, the chief of a old indigenous people, the, what was the met the Virgin Mary, and so is the patroness of a Catholic church in Venezuela, is the Virgin of Koromoko because she accepted the name of the chief of Koromoko. Why did they knock down the, the, and they destroy the square in, in tribute to the cacique Koromoto? What sense did that have? Is that a protest? Why did they knock down the statue of Commander Hugo Chavez? Tell me. Why? Because it was a symbol that the gringo told them that they have to knock down. And because the one that I told you, the demon, Machado, doesn't forget ever, you know, in her mind when Commander Chavez told her and 
tell her every day, eagle doesn't hunt flies, you are a fascist demon, eagle doesn't hunt flies, you knock down the statue, that statue will be set up again, thousands of statues of Machave will be set up again from the communities, from the neighborhoods. I am very much indignated when I just remember these scenes and I cannot forget. It's forbidden to forget while they destroy, we build. While they hate and want violence, we want love, this homeland, and we guarantee peace. Because peace in Venezuela is guaranteed already. At the stability and peace is already guaranteed with all proofs moving on, improving in national unity, simply as that. The national unity of peace are the two requisite prerequisites, fundamental prerequisites for us to, to move on our beloved Venezuela to the future. Let's go now to State Lara, kilometer, kilometer eight of Avenue Florencio Jimenez. I passed through there uh, when I was touring the country uh, in La Parroquia pa Guerrera Anasoto. My loved parroquia warrior to the neighborhoods, to my greeting, and all the commitments that I made with you, all of those commitments are going to be fulfilled. We're going to proceed now to the inauguration of the hospitalization service this, the cons, of the hospital Rotario. Dr. Javier is there, Cabreras is also there, the director, Dr. Elsie Sanchez, and also one of the spokeswomen of the People's Power, my loved Mari Galindez. Go ahead, Lara. Greeting, Mr. President. Today, we are very happy to be here in Lara State because this is a center precedent that it was recovered from the private hands. Uh, more than 20, 40 years ago, it was given to the private hands, and now we are in the face of recovery together with the people's power, with the BRICS Comile, with the support that you're giving us, the Ministry of Magali Gutierrez, Governor Pereira, to guarantee a quality attention to our population. These are areas of quality. We were live to Venezuela where President Nicolás Maduro took part in the inauguration of the recovery and rehabilitation of the Ludovico Silva Diagnosis Center in Caracas. During his intervention, the president recalled the fascist events that took place in the country promoted by the far right wing in a name to reach power through violence. One of those violent actions recalled by the president was the far right's attempt to burn hospitals and schools. In a dialogue with workers of the Ludovico Silva Center, President Maduro assured that the triumph of democracy and, and peace in the country would not just mean a victory for the South American country, but also is going to be a triumph of the progressive forces of the world in the face of the brutal face of, of fascism. Likewise, members of the civil society assured that the government is not alone and that President Maduro is supported by millions who believe in Chavismo as the powerful path capable of moving the country forward. This is all for the moment. Stay tuned with From the South.